Hi, Sharon Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com and online beginning painting and drawing class. Um, today in the studio, I am going to, we're going to draw a simple vase. Um, I like this vase um, because of the shape that it has. Um, it's small enough you can actually, you know, draw it on a, a much smaller uh, paper, uh, notebook, sketchbook, whatever. Um, I like it because when you set it down, I like the difference in the orange and the white on the inside. Um, you have something definite that you can see the difference. Uh, sometimes it's hard to show uh, the difference, particularly in a video format, um, from this side to what you see back in here. So, but since it's white and orange, I can, you know, get you to see what it is I'm trying to show you. I'm just going to set it here on my work table. And what we're going to do, I'm going to try to <laughs> make sure you see everything that I'm working on. Um, it's just going to be a short little sketch. Okay, so it's there at the table. Okay, and I'm going to make it bigger than it is. And I'm going to go up. And in, up, and in, even more in, up. Okay, now I'm going to come back out. This vase comes out a little bit here. And then it goes, you have to make an ellipse here. An ellipse is not an oval. It's not a circle. <laughs> it's an ellipse. It allows you to see the front of the vase and the back of the vase. Now the interesting part in this is, because this is orange, this would appear to be darker, but this part back in here is actually darker because it's farther away and you're trying to create that um, feeling of perspective. So even though this might not be a perfect shape, you know, you can spend much more time on it. Um, but I'm going to back here in the back, make this darker to help with perspective. Okay, so now when I'm looking at my vase, I see down here a shadow on the table that begins about here, comes out and then ends up back here. So I'm going to color, fill in that shadow. Now I just went out of the, a shadow is pretty particular about its shape. It takes the shape from, particularly of a physical object, a shadow from a tree limb or a tree leaf particularly is much more free form. This is very, um, formed precise almost okay so here we are we're putting in the shadow again you can spend as much time on doing something like this as possible I'm just trying to show you help you see what to see okay so the table the end of the table is back here So there's our table line. Now underneath where the vase is sitting on the table, it's much darker. It has its own shadow underneath there. Whoops. My pencil kind of ran away from me. That's okay. So now as I'm looking at it, and I can't show you this, um, there are, a, there's a highlight there and a highlight here. Now we're going to put that on here with the pencil and it's, so it's going to be a darker mark. It comes here and a lighter one is over here. Okay, so those are the things you really need to look at. Now on the back part of the vase, you're also going to see some places where it's highlighted, it's lighter than other places. And on the front, you're going to get a lip. OK. 
okay? Take some of that off. I got, my pencil got carried away again, okay? So you say you have a lip, a shadow underneath. Make this edge dark, and then there's a little shadow underneath that, okay? So now in the middle, you see that dark spot? I didn't mean that to be there. So I have one of two choices. I can lighten it up with my eraser, or I can make the whole thing darker. So there you have a basic drawing of a vase, a cup, a bottle, anything. The main points are that it it's seated onto the table with this dark shadow underneath it, that there's a shadow over here. The light's coming from this way because the shadow's over here. This highlight is higher. Uh, it's a brighter. This one is lighter. The light's hitting it here, but it's also bouncing over there. Now on this piece right in here, you can come along in here with the point of your pencil and make part of it darker to where it appears that part of it is lighter. Okay. So, or you can take your eraser, get your point on uh, this is a kneaded eraser. Get it molded to a point and then come in here and take out. And you can take it out just by bouncing that eraser up and down. Okay? So there you go. You've seen the basic things that you're looking for. You can work on it and develop it for as long as you want. Uh, you can line up a number of different things um, to, to draw, but that's exactly how you would work on a, uh, any kind of a bottle, a cup, uh, anything that's not see-through. If that were clear glass, we'd have to do something down here to let you see that the backside of the, of the bottle or the, and we'll do that at another time. But I just wanted you to understand uh, the pieces that you need to look for when you're drawing. So thanks a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. Um, and it, there's usually a little bell next to that subscription thing. And if you click on that, then it'll notify you whenever I upload a new video. So have a great day. Happy drawing.